so uh, good morning people uh, I know that uh, this morning this may seem a little weird but I'm sitting here today and uh, as you can see I've, I've put on uh, sackcloth and I and I've sprinkled ashes on my uh, on my face, uh, and I'm not to, and I'm not sitting here saying that that's what uh, everyone must do. But the Lord has been dealing with me about sackcloth and ashes, and uh, generally, you would see in times of great distress in the Bible, in times of great uh, turmoil that people would go through in the in the Bible and uh, as a sign of humility and as a sign of coming back to God they would uh, put on their sackcloth they would take off their clothes and put on sackcloth and sit in ashes and and Daniel, Daniel uh, put on sackcloth and uh, sprinkled himself with ashes. And so the Lord has been dealing with me about a level of humility that uh, is required from the people of God. Like all this stuff is still going on in the world today and uh, You know, people dying, losing their lives. And not just to this COVID virus, but, you know, the hearts of men are waxing cold. And we're seeing uh, people killing one another, people stealing, people, you know, doing all manner of evil. And... Even those who have been sworn to protect and to serve are having hearts that have been waxed cold and doing things that you just would not expect someone who has been sworn to protect and to serve to do. And so the Lord has been dealing with me about how the only way this stuff is going to change is when the people of God change. Like, we really need to discern the times and the days that we live in. Like, none of this stuff that we're seeing today should be taking us by surprise. And we shouldn't be alarmed because if we read the Bible, it's all been prophesied that these days would come. And so, <clears throat> when these days are here, I feel like it is the responsibility of the body of Christ to rise up and to be who God has called for us to be. You know, we need to humble ourselves and we need to pray. You know, and we need to, uh, as the body of Christ, make sure that we are doing all that we should be doing. We should be allowing the love of God to be manifested in our lives. Uh, we should be speaking and declaring the word of God like his kingdom is real. It's not just some fairy tale that we read in the Bible. The kingdom of God is very, very real. And if we walk in the power that is given to us in the kingdom of God is my belief that we will see uh, manifested results of men and women of God living by the kingdom of God. You know, the Bible is clear that uh, life and death are in the power of our tongue and that uh, 
that men and women of God live by the fruit of their of their mouth or of their words. And so I'm just coming on today. And uh, I'm not telling you to do what God has instructed me to do. I'm not telling you to do that. But what I'm asking you to do is to ask God, what is it that you need to do as his ambassador in the earth? My, my uh, thing right now is to, is to pray and to humble myself and to pray his word and to share his love and to to share the good news of the gospel you know the good news of the gospel is more than letting people know that they can be born again you know that's just a part of it being born again the good news of the gospel is that one day Jesus will return and we will be able to be with him and if we really understand what that means that gives you a great hope something to look forward to a world where there's no more sorrow and there's no more sin there's no more dying and killing and all this evil stuff that we see today a world where there's no more of that where we can live in peace in harmony you know and the only way to get to that is by receiving the free gift that Jesus gave and laid his life down for us to have but you know once you accept him you know you have to have a hope and your hope needs to be invested in the fact that you will one day have the opportunity to have fellowship with Jesus and to be with him. And so I uh, thought long and hard about whether or not to come on and share this or do this. But I just want to... Uh, basically sound the alarm to men and women of God all over this world you know like I said you don't have to do like me you don't have to do what I'm doing but you know the word of God is our example and you know when you study it and you understand these things that are in the word like I really began to study about sackcloth and ashes and I understand that it represents man's ability to humble himself under the hand of the mighty God you know there are so many things that we put before him and so many things and I'm talking about myself I don't know what your thing is but you know there are just so many things that I've put before spending time with him. And and I feel like I, I, I'm a one of the people that spend, you know, quality time with the Father, but I need to spend more time with him. And I'm just telling you, you know, today, ask God, what is it that you need to do? Like, Daniel repented for the sins, for his sins and for the sins of Israel. And we just did a teaching on Jonah. And Jonah declared to Nineveh a message that caused the people once again to dress themselves in sackcloth and ashes and to humble themselves so that destruction would not come upon them and so these things have spoken uh, deep within my heart and so I felt like you know this is what I needed to do and so 
I'm asking you, I beseech you, brethren, therefore, by the mercies of God, that you do the same thing, that you present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is all of our reasonable service, that you do that, and that you ask God, what is he requiring of you? What is he requiring of you that you can make a difference in the world that we live in today? Men and women of God, I pray that you make the decision to spend some time with God and ask him, what is it that you must do in order to make a difference for him? We need to pray, people. We need to pray and we need to make sure that we're doing what it is that God is telling us to do. What he is requiring of you individually, what he's requiring of you. I love you guys. Uh, You know, like I said, I know this may seem weird. It may look weird, but this is what the Lord is uh asked or required of me to do and just know that I'm praying for you I I see a lot of people uh, on Facebook and different people have contracted this uh, virus and you know people of God they are people of God who are on on Facebook saying that they have contracted the virus you know people we know uh, and many of them are saying how how uh, tormenting this virus is to the to your body, and you know I, I pray, you know that we pray and that we ask God to forgive us, uh, and that we uh, you know I'm not saying that 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 this is. Uh, judgment from God that's not for me to say you know but what I am saying is that we need to pray and that we need to be wise and that we need to make sure that we're taking all precautions uh, to to remain safe uh, see people complaining about having to wear masks and social distancing and you know these things you know uh, let's be responsible uh, I remember you know reading in the word you know there are examples even in the word when there were things going on in the world and God would tell his people what to do And so I'm telling you, I'm begging you again that you uh, talk to God, ask God how it is that you're going to stay safe, how your family should stay safe. I pray for my family and my children uh, every day, asking God to protect them and to keep them safe from this virus, not only from this virus, but to protect them from the ill will of Satan to destroy and to come against their lives. Uh, You know, prayer works, people. It works. And I'm just telling you uh, that as men and women of God, that it's a time for us to walk in humility, to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek God's face uh, more than ever before we were living in treacherous days men's hearts have waxed cold just like the word it's told us uh, people uh, don't want to hear the truth of the word of God all these things that the Bible talks about what happened in the last days are happening right now and so I would encourage you to, number one, read your word. Know what the word says. 
so that uh, so that when you see these things, you're not caught off guard. You know, if you read the Bible, you will know what day you live in and you will understand how important it is for you to uh, align yourself with the will of the Father. And so read your word, pray, show the love of God. We're living in a time where hatred is on the rise. I feel like we have divisive leadership, leadership that has uh, fostered an environment of hate, of disunity, and I am telling you, it is not our uh, place to demean, speak bad of, to uh, to talk about our leadership. It's our responsibility to pray and ask God to touch men's hearts that are in positions of authority. That's my position as a ambassador of Christ. You know, my 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 uh, how do I say this? My my position or yeah, my position as an ambassador of the Most High far outweighs my ethnicity, my blackness, my whatever, my my Jewish history, any of that, my my all the stuff, my Indian, everything that's within me. My position as an ambassador of the most high God outweighs all of that right now. And so what I need to show you is the love of God. I need to be praying for people. I need to be praying that God's will on this earth, that it be manifested. I need to bind Satan. I need to loose the kingdom of God. I need to pray that his will be done in earth as it is currently being done in heaven. Those are my responsibilities as an ambassador of the Most High. And it's not my position to be uh, proven to you what color or what ethnicity Jesus was. I need to be demonstrating to you that he walked in love and that he had compassion on all men and women and that he set the captive free. And all these things, these are the things that I must demonstrate in the days that we live in. And so, you know, I don't want to keep going on. You know, I love you. And like I said, I encourage you to talk to the Father and to find out what it is that God's calling for you to do in this day. So, God bless you. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. And like I said, seek Him first. God bless you.